This guy is the captain. Let me talk! Oh, oh, let me talk! Let me, let me talk! And when you have them, your team is, is one step ahead. Oh. the classic Fernandinho goal celebration? Uh, I don't know. Just run and... The time, 1.40pm. The date, April 9th, 2022. And today, we look at the greatest CDM in the Premier League in FIFA 22. I'm talking about Mark Noble. I'll set your pego. What's up, boys? And welcome to the 92-rated foot captains, Fernando Luis Rosa, uh, the second SPC for foot captains that has come out throughout the promo that started, obviously, yesterday. Uh, born April 5th, 1985, has himself a 92-rated card, goes for about 380, 400,000 coins, so he is not a cheap SPC. He's got the fourth most total in-game stacks among any midfielder in the Premier League. He's three-star, four-star, and he finds himself in some pretty competitive uh, territory. If we're comparing him to the Everton Alan, uh, who who goes for about uh, 400,000 coins, about the same price. And the Alan, in my opinion, there's a lot of reasons that the card might look better. It has the four star, five star, so he's a lot more dynamic. Uh, doesn't quite have the defending stats, but if we're looking at the Alan, he's got 90. Uh, has about the same pace split. And again, for those of you guys that value four star, five star, Alan might be a guy if you already have him untradeable or you just want to get him on the market. He might be a guy that you look at if you don't want to get the Fernandinho. There is, however, a Mark Noble who has the sixth most total in game stats among any Premier League uh, CDM uh, who just came out. Out, and he's 63,000 coins. He's four star, four star. He's medium, medium. Fernandinho is obviously medium high. So again, it depends what you want from your CDM. It depends what you want from your midfielders. But there are a lot of options in the Premier League, uh, which might be, you know, th that might be the reason that you don't get Fernandinho done. So uh, again, today we're just going to find out if this Fernandinho card is cracked or not. Medium high work rates, lovely. Three star skill moves, four star weak foot. Nothing too crazy there. Like that, like that he has the four star weak foot on his card. Uh, and uh, looks pretty damn, looks pretty damn cracked with the shadow chem style. Goes up to 98 acceleration, 91 sprints speed, which should be plenty. 92 uh, shot power, 85 long shots, so I don't think you're going to be relying on him to score goals for you, but he does have that 92 shot power. Passing stats, 90 long pass, 92 short passing, that's pretty much all we care about. Would be nice if he would have had a little bit more vision, maybe a little bit more curve. Um, dribbling stats are already cracked, and then the defending stats, I mean, I feel like they're good enough already. I almost feel like maybe you don't even want to put a shadow on him, maybe an engine or something. Has 85 uh, stamina, 88 strength, uh, and then uh, 97 aggression, so for those of us that are nitpicking, Maybe the 85 stamina is something that's a little bit meh. But uh, yeah, I mean, he looks like a pretty damn good card. Team player, leadership, have no idea what any of those traits do. Uh, but uh, we're going to test him out. We're going to take him into a few games. If you think Fernandino looks absolutely cracked and he's got a ridiculously cool dynamic pick with the captain's armband, smash like on Epi. Smash like on Epi if you're an absolute mad lad. And I wonder if there's another chem style for him. Did I just snipe an anchor, anchor chem style for 250 coins? We don't need him to have more than 80. Yeah, it, dude, he'll go up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 93 acceleration, 86 sprint speed is fine. We get the defensive stats jacked off, but the difference is we're sacrificing a little bit of pace for a significant upgrade in, in strength, which I kind of like. 98 strength, uh, 98 strength, 99 aggression. Jumping obviously goes up to 99. And then the, the defensive stats are getting jacked off enough already. So that's 90. That's literally 99 interceptions, 99 defensive awareness, 99 standing tackle, and 99 sliding tackle with 86 sprint speed uh, and 93 acceleration. Yeah, I mean, you're going to pay, you're just going to pay, you're going to pay that coinage for the Premier League tax. So we're going to get into a couple games here. We're going to see how he compares kind of the Mark Noble. I could see an argument to be made why this card could be possibly worth it. Um... And there you have, uh, there you have Jorginho, who is the most total in-game stat play, uh, midfielder in the Premier League. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll bounce it out to you guys. What do you think? You think, it, 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 is, is Fernandinho worth doing? Fernandinho. Nice little bit of, uh, yeah, ni nice, nice little bit of dribbling. And then let's see what he does. Yeah, we've got him on the, uh, right, he, sta he stays back. That's what we want from our CDM, man. Maybe I want a little bit more pace out of Fernandinho, but you guys can already see, man. Fernie moving. Fernie moving, nice. Nice little, ni nice little disruption from uh, from Fernie. You gotta expect that card to be at least 380, 400 thousand coins. You get some packs back, but you're paying for a premium CDM. That's what you're paying for. I, I don't know how much cheaper we expect this to be. Maybe three. I mean, 300k. I feel like he's too cheap. 350k might have been the sweet spot, but I think he's probably. Uh, I mean, way, way too expensive? I don't know. The only reason I would say that he's maybe way too expensive is because there are some pretty cracked options already. So, you know, what we're going to do next is we're going to take a look at the Mark Noble card, who now has himself 4-star, four 4-star, four and can do a Burbisman. 
<laughs> or at least he can, at least he can attempt to do a burpee spin. Yeah, this guy's done though. That's my first owner 98 Pelé, just in case anyone's wondering. My first owner 98 Pelé. So. Yeah, he's got. Mark, no Mark Noble with the McGee spin. Fernandino, Fernandino with a nice little bit of acceleration. Fernandino's body type? He's got the lean body type? Uh, Fernandino, I mean, I can't. He's got. The guy's got 74 finishing. You know what I mean? <laughs> wow. Um, I mean, Wowdy Weg's not doing anything that we didn't know already. Oh! Yeah, bro, you 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 get premium you get premium defensive stats with the with, with the Fernandinho, and that's and, and that's what that's what a lot of people are gonna play. Uh, that's that's what a lot of people are gonna pay for. lindo, lance de grande jogador que ele é. That's, that's not a pen. What a... Um, Wighorse. Wighorse. He's, he's the most... He's so broken. If you missed out on the Dutch boars look like, I don't know what to tell you, man. Yeah, there's, 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 there's Fernandinho just... Uh, Collecting the ball back, easy as he does it. Yeah, there's Fer there's Fernandino with a nice little interception. Okay, that's what you get with a Pele. That's the kind that's that, that's the kind of goal that you could score with a 98 Pele. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I kind of don't like my CDMs to have the lean body type. Lindo. He's, yeah, he's, he's, he's got he's got really he's got really nice movement. I mean, Brazilian, you would expect that with the dribbling stats that he has. You know, pass it off to another player, have, have a whole lot of confidence. Uh, <laughs> Mark Noble. Yeah, there we go. Fernand, Fernandinho interception. See, without the shadow chem style, who is that? Is that Antonio? I think the. In a situation like that, I mean, if you're running like a high press uh, formation, you might just want to put the shadow on him, bro. Fernandinho, lovely little pass to Pele. Come on, Pele. Fernandinho, Pele, come on! Fernandinho, que drible! Lindo! Lance de grande jogador que ele é! Fernandinho going in! And using a little bit of that 74 finishing. All right, showing a little bit of his di uh, dynamism. That's a pen. Era penalty. Although I think this guy's maybe going to stay middle, so we're going to pop it right. Got him. There's no way that's a... There's no way that's a pen. <laughs> There's no way that's a safe. <laughs> nice interception from Fernandinho. Fernandinho. Ahí se mira el ataque. Decididos al frente los Matlats. And that's that's peak Fernandinho, man. Makes an interception all the way on the other side of the pitch, on our side of the pitch. Uses yeah, he's yeah. Use, uses his 
uses his lovely little bit of dribbling, lean body type, and again, I don't prefer, don't ask me why I think this, again, this is just one of those things that I believe in, but I don't like my CDMs, I don't like my, like, true CDM to have the lean body type, because I feel like he gets beat off, I, beat off? I feel, I, I feel like he's uh, a little bit too weak, um, but I don't know, may, maybe with, uh, may, maybe with Fernandine, she's the guy that's going to change that nice little bit of dribbling there. Solid. I really like that. That's that that that's that's all we're looking for for Fernandinho. You don't need the four-star skill moves. He's gonna get in the mix and he's gonna he's gonna cause a little bit of chaos. And again, he's got that he's got that spicy little bit of uh, Brazilian dribbling. We're just gonna lay it off, right? And then he's gonna go he's gonna go back to his position and he's a guy that you can rely on. Doesn't have distance bangers though. Wouldn't be a player's way view if we didn't do at least one finesse with a player that we're testing out for the featured player. Okay, well, uh, I think, I think we've seen all we need to see. You can't rely on him to do that consistently. I personally don't even know what kind of goal that was. I was trying to shoot with his right foot, but for whatever reason, it, it, it popped it with his, with his left. That's Fernandinho. All right, boys, so there you have it. Uh, that is the Fernandine Jeppe. Uh, again, we've already got two guys on the screen right here that may be the reason that you don't do this SBC. But again, if maybe you're a Manchester City supporter, if you've got a Brazilian squad, and or if you think that this card is cracked, you know, he's got the right, uh, he's, he's got he's got the captain armband, which is actually kind of dope. I think he's the first dynamic player to actually have the, uh, the captain's armband in the actual dynamic pick, which is really, really cracked. I don't know if we've seen that. I don't know if we've seen that before. That, hey, shout out EA for picking a for picking a really cool dynamic pick for him. But I'm gonna say three and a half out of five. Um, again, I like it. I think maybe I would give it a four if it was 345 to maybe 350 thousand coins. That's what I think this card. It's not live. Uh, it, it, that's that's what I think this card should be valued at. If it was 345 to 350 thousand coins, I would give it a four to five. But at 400k, I'm just gonna say three and a half out of five. You know, I don't know what's coming out with Team of the Season in a couple weeks, uh, but I bet you anything there's gonna be a card in there that's maybe like 250, 300 thousand coins that's probably gonna rival. Uh, this Fernandinho. But again, like I said, if you got the fodder, if you're looking for a CDM that's going to hold it down for you, I don't think you can go wrong with this Fernandinho. Uh, in terms of on the pitch performance, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say four out of five. He does all the things you expect with, from a CDM very, very well. He's got strength. He's, he's uh, the, the the modifier, the, uh, the 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 upgrade, or the thing that he has that a lot of other cards don't have is the ridiculous dribbling. He's got that Brazilian dribbling, four-star weak foot, uh, and it's just a dynamic midfielder, which is a uh, dynamic CDM, which is something that you're not going to find uh, that you're not going to find often. And it's not it's not a kind of card that's going to come out uh, every day. So I'm going to say four to five. If you're looking for a cheap version, test out the Mark Noble first. I know he's got the medium, medium doesn't have the medium high. Fernandino does little, just a little bit of a meme uh, that I was going with for the uh, for the Epi. But uh, if you have the Declan Rice, I mean the Declan Rice dude, the Declan Rice is still pretty cracked, 90 defending, 5 star, 3 star, has the medium high, has really good dribbling stats, so if you have this card, has the 94 stamina, has the 91 aggression, if you have this card, I just don't think you need, um, I just don't think you probably need the, uh, the Fernandinho, so again, if you have Declan Rice, I don't think you should be looking at the Fernandinho, but, uh, if you want to test someone out first, maybe go with the Mark Noble, and if you have the coins and you don't want to send it into a, an SBC, maybe test out the Everton Alan, but, uh, that is gonna do it for the Epi Boys. If you guys did enjoy, smash like, hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. Till next time, bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.